right, day number two at this. I've added one, two different grounds. Um, I put my cluster back in, the stereo was in, that wasn't working either. Um, I've pretty much looked through everything. I looked at all of my grounds. I've took them off. I've cleaned them up, put them back on, make sure they're snug. But I'm going to give you a little. Yesterday I was bypassing it with the starter and the wire. But I'm going to show you what she's doing on the key because she won't. She won't fire. She will not fire off the wire, but she'll try to fire off the key. And I'll show you what I'm dealing with here. Because <clears throat> I got a feeling this is why it's stopping it from starting. But it's like. It's almost like there's there's a loose ground like she's not getting the power but i guarantee you i have checked over every ground hundreds of times like i said clean them up i got all the grounds up here hooked all the grounds down below there they're all hooked up whatever other ground i could find in the wiring there's no grounds in this in that pile so i just She'll do that and then she'll stop. That was the most consistent time she's done it. She's got a good battery. She's hooked, or yeah, she's hooked up on charge. Well, as she was, I don't know if I took it off. I did, but regardless, she's still got a good battery. So I don't know. I'm not sure. I got a guard I could flash the ECU, but I don't see it being security because even if it was security, wouldn't she just keep whining over, whining over consistently? I don't know, guys. All right, I think it's a security issue, guys. She'll start and she'll stop. All right, I think it's a security issue, guys. She'll start and she'll stop. <laughs> 